So I was under the impression that Pat Robertson, longtime host of the 700 Club, had retired. Maybe I dreamt that he did. Either way, he is very much still broadcasting, and he is still alive. He's probably age 197 by now. Either way, he's on the air, he's alive, and he is demanding that Biden stop being weak and threaten Putin with nuclear annihilation. I mean, you can't make this stuff up. Either way, let's listen to what he has to say and pay close attention to the deranged look in his eyes as he makes this demand. We have the firepower to wipe out every Russian city, just one Trident submarine. And of course, we're not using it and have no intention of using it. But why doesn't somebody in the administration call Putin's bluff? He's bluffing. And every time he says, well, if you do that, we're going to escalate. Oh, no, you're not, old buddy. We're going to do you if you try to do us, and we'll make it worse, and you know it. Putin knows we we're powerful. He doesn't have much of, a, of an army. He doesn't have much of an economy. It's a tiny economy, and he's playing a bluff. But unfortunately, we have a man in charge in Washington who doesn't like to stand up to bluffs. He folds his winning hand every single time. Deranged. Just absolutely batshit fucking insane. And I made a meme for the occasion. We need to threaten Putin with nukes. Sure, Grandpa, let's get you to bed. I mean, this is the uh, Christian broadcast network. And he's threatening nuclear annihilation of an entire country. He says, we have the firepower to wipe out every city in russia but do you want to do that the people in russia aren't responsible for the actions of their authoritarian governments but you think that we should threaten to nuke russia and maybe call putin's bluff look to be fair i think it's likely the case that putin is bluffing because he does know that nuclear war wouldn't go well for him or the united states i think that you know a sane person would acknowledge that but the theory that he's bluffing isn't necessarily one that I want to test out. Do you want to roll the dice just so you can appear tough? Or do you not want to take any chances and, I don't know, play it safe and not threaten to nuke people? You know, I think that looking weak is a pretty low price to pay compared to nuclear annihilation. It's not just the United States and Russia who would be uh, devastated by nuclear war. It's the entire planet. We're talking about extinction of the human race. And you're just talking about this flippantly as if it's not a big deal. Just threaten him with nuclear annihilation. It's no big deal. Stop being a weenie. What, what is wrong with you? What is wrong with Pat Robertson? Who allows this deranged lunatic to still go on the air and spew this nonsense? Who is okaying this? He shouldn't be on the air. He very clearly isn't in the right state of mind and for all of the warmongering and saber rattling against russia that we see from members of the media who constantly call for more escalation or a no-fly zone which is essentially a declaration of war against russia he's just saying no threaten to nuke them no <laughs> see i'm glad that biden is in charge and biden is resisting calls to escalate tensions i mean sure He's escalated to some extent with sanctions and whatnot, but I'm glad that he's reasonable enough to not just try to call Putin's bluff and threaten nuclear warfare. That's fucking stupid. It's it's loony. Who, who thinks like this? You have to be a psychopath to think like this. If the thought of humanity going extinct due to nuclear annihilation doesn't at least give you pause, I mean, it should scare you if you are a reasonable person, uh, but if it doesn't at least give you pause to think, wow, that might be bad, I just feel like you're you're psychopathic or a sociopath. I, I don't know. There's something very off about Pat Robertson. Again, he's like 500 years old and his brain is basically mush at this point. But to demand that Biden threaten to nuke Putin, go fuck yourself, Pat Robertson. Nobody wants to listen to you. Who's listening? I, I honestly want to know how many viewers tune in to uh, the 700 Club at this point. Who who's watching this shit? Who listens to this and thinks, 
wow, this sounds like a sane individual. I mean, did you see the crazy look in his eyes? Even if you agree with Pat Robertson, you recognize that crazy ass look and you've got to acknowledge that something is off. There's got to be some sort of instinct in you that gets you to think, okay, this guy, there's something weird about him. He kind of seems psychopathic. He's calling for us to threaten a nuclear nation with nukes. That seems a little bit uh, I don't know, harsh at a minimum, wouldn't you say? Uh, either way, Pat Robertson is uh, delusional, and of course, we should always expect him to have the dumbest, most extreme apocalyptic take, because that's what he's known for. It, it's just, I, I thought he retired and, and we were done with this, but apparently he's not, and I expect him to be around for hundreds and hundreds of years, continuing to call for nuclear annihilation or an apocalypse in some way, shape, or form, assuming humanity doesn't kill themselves in the near future. Were you acting like a...